Hi, this is Sheila Renninger, and welcome to Ion Celebrity. Supermodel Chrissy Teigen went to the White House with her husband John Legend when he was invited to perform at Michelle Obama's birthday bash. And after the party, she posted a picture of herself with a huge bruise on her leg. So, how did she get the bruise? She claims it happened while dancing. In fact, she was the one who posted the picture of the bruise on Instagram with the caption, Tell me this isn't the worst bruise you've ever seen. Hashtag, dancing to Beyonce. Now, the bruise is only in one spot, and it's on her upper thigh. Seems unlikely that she'd get it just from dancing, but conveniently, all cameras and cell phones were banned from the party. So, there's no actual footage of the party. Looks like this one is bound to wind up on Unsolved Mysteries. Justin Bieber is laughing at everyone who thinks he has a drug problem. He says he's just being a typical 19-year-old. Those close to Justin say he thinks the hype around him and his behavior is ridiculous. And Justin says he's just young and has lots of time on his hands. He also claims to be on a break since there's no concerts or other obligations tying him down. But it isn't just the internet that's abuzz with Justin talk. Those close to Justin are begging him to seek help for what they describe as a bad drug problem. But Justin is saying no to all of it. He even posted a video online recently of him skating around an ice rink with the hashtag worried about nothing. Of course, as we all know, the first phase is denial. Have you ever wished that you were Paris Hilton? Well, neither have I, but this is probably the closest I've come. Paris was spotted car shopping the other day, not because she's in need of one. Would you like to take a stab at how many cars Paris actually has? It's not two, it's not three, it's six. And this makes the car she's shopping for number seven. And believe it or not, Paris says she has a favorite car. Is it the Ferrari or one of her Bentleys? Possibly the Yukon? Nope. Paris says it's the Lexus LFA. So there you go, you can never unknow that now. At least Paris buys a new favorite car. And finally, Tori Spelling's husband, Dean McDermott, is in a lot of hot water. First of all, Dean hosts his own show in Canada, which is so successful that Harlequin Publishing decided to publish a cookbook for him. Dean wrote a book called The Gourmet Dad, which is a personal account of a man's man that cooks for his own family. Dean reportedly received an advance of over $250,000 for the book, but that money was mostly to cover expenses. And when it came to paying people, Dean didn't exactly hold up his end of the deal. Dean reportedly owes the photographer over $33,000, the food stylist over $14,000, the prop stylist over $6,000, and an additional $6,500 in Canadian taxes. These people have each reportedly called, emailed, and even texted Dean on numerous occasions, but he stiffed them all. There may be a very good explanation for Dean's behavior. Recently, Dean has checked himself into a rehab facility. No one really knows why, but almost directly after admitting to have cheated on Tori, Dean said he was checking into rehab for some health and personal issues. Dean says he hopes to become a better husband and father once this whole ordeal is behind him. That's it for today's news. See you next time.